A question that uh, people have been asking me, and of course, we, up in northwest Arkansas, we got to meet Miss Kay, and she's just about one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. We've all wondered, does she ever go to the blind to go hunting with you, or is, is that just not her been, thing? She's never been hunting in her life. Oh, yeah? If, if I had $5 for every duck she's picked, or if I had $1 for every pot of duck she's cooked, Boy, I'd be in good shape. <laughs> yeah, you would. Yeah, that woman there is a cook. I told somebody one time, they said, well, how you boys down there in the south get them girls to pick your ducks? I said, well, first of all, I said, y'all are waiting to get to be 20 years old before you marry them. I said, that's way <laughs> too old. I said, do you wait till they get to be 20 when you marry them and they'll pick your pocket. If you marry them at about 15, they'll pick your ducks. Oh, boy, now that's the way to do it. How, uh, you know, I see. I think it's fistful of ducks. You know, you've got a bunch of teal in a pot. You're cleaning up to make dressing out of. If I got that, if I got the right tape, uh, I just wondered what your best way. You you know, the favorite way you like duck. You just bake it. Or? Well, on the on the teal, we love them just baked. And uh, if you just uh, get you a little fry a little bacon and just. Uh, you could rub a little, rub a little olive oil on them, salt, uh -huh. like pepper them, <clears throat> about twice as heavy as you would everything else. Roll them in flour, so yeah. you got salt, black pepper on them. They, they've been olive oil; it's kind of slick for that, for that uh, flour stick to them. Salt, black pepper, and flour, and then you just brown them on the bottom, on the sides. You brown them all the way around, a little, little bacon grease, and uh, usually I just leave the breast up. And it'll be about, you know, we're talking these big black Dutch oven types, big big iron, cast iron pots. Yeah. You've got about seven or eight in there. And just throw your, you've already cut up an onion, a little garlic, a little bell pepper, mm -mm. season it a little bit, throw it in on top of them and cut you up about two oranges. Oh, yeah. Water them, take the seeds out, and throw them oranges in there on top of them at about a cup of any kind of wine, white wine or red, and just don't put them in a pot. It's all, they've been brown, but your veggies are laid on top of them and your oranges and a little wine in them. Put your lid on it. Put it in the oven 300 degrees for about two and a half hours, two hours and 45 minutes, and they'll make their own little gravy there. Ooh, that sounds we usually, good. We usually ease all that out there, the ducks and the veggies that are cooked down in kind of a gravy. Pull all your ducks and stuff out. You can add a little more flour. Make sure you got it seasoned right. Yeah. And, uh, then cut it with a little water or chicken broth and make a pretty good little pot of gravy. So you got your baked ducks and your veggies are kind of just on top of them. And you got your big pot of white rice and the gravy oh, yeah. from the ducks. Cook you up some biscuits and boys. It is a fine meal. Yeah, that sounds like a good one. I, I love that rice. Just the other day we had some gumbo over ri white rice. And, man, that's good yep. stuff, too. We cook a lot of gumbos. We'll always have a big gumbo within the first two or three days of the teal season. Yeah. And uh, I got that on one of our videos. I don't even know which one it is, but I've got the, the gumbo recipe on one of them. And a lot of them have tried it. They love it. But a good duck gumbo uh, from these teal or any kind of ducks, but, boy, it is a fine meal. I'll tell you, it sounds like it.